Yesterday, you, you observed soils two, three, and four. And when you were observing those soils, you noticed that there were various sizes of rock pieces found within the soils. Um, because in the beginning, there was no soil. Everything was pretty much rock and rock ground down over time as a process, getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and smaller until it became a fine, silty, sandy type. Um, and then with the plant material turned into soil. Today we're gonna define what those rock pieces are called and we are going to add this to our notes. So I'm gonna switch my camera and in the plate you can see various sizes of rocks. So first we have the largest pieces and I believe soil number two had a lot of this. Soil three did not have any. Soil four had a handful. So soil two mostly had the large pieces of rock. Then we have the smaller pieces of rock. And that was found pretty much with the majority of the soils. This has a combination of little tiny rocks and some small silt. And then this last one is very, very fine. And that's the one that I said is powdery really powdery. So in your notebook, what I want you to do is I want you to write down the names of those sizes of rock. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to put the size next to it so you'll have a visual clue. This is called a pebble. This they consider gravel. So the little pieces they consider gravel. Sand is made up of pieces that are this small. Do you see? And then last but not least, we have the clay or silt, and that is the size of powder. So I'll go ahead and pause it. I want you to write this down. So ultimately, we have to go back to our question. What is soil? On every Friday, we will come up with a so what. So what is soil? Well, let's think about it. What did we find in the soil? After investigation, we found out that soil had various sizes of rock material. It consists of pebbles, gravel, sand, clay, and silt. What do you think that black, the black fine the black fine grained things within the soil was. Think about that for a minute. There's a word for that and it's called humus, humus. And humus is decayed plant matter, leaves, grass, sticks, and after that decomposes and breaks down, it becomes a very rich organic material that helps make up soil. So we are going to come up with a conclusion, concluding sentence about what is soil. Go ahead and write down what you think soil is made up of. I'll write down my answer and we'll compare in just a minute. Okay. Now I hope you answered this with your best, best scientific thoughts. So this is the paragraph I came up with. After investigating and making observations about several soils, because guys, as scientists, there's a reason that we're doing the observations. There's a reason we do these investigations. It's to get new facts and to learn more things about whatever we're looking into. So I said, after the investigation, I found that soil is made up of several earth materials. That was a vocabulary word that we learned earlier in this lesson. They include pebbles, gravel, sand, clay, or silt. Soil also has broken down pieces of plant material called humus. That's another vocabulary word we just learned. Some soils have more rocks, sand, or humus than others. This is what we're going to investigate next, this next sentence. Please make sure that you have all of this written down um, in your science notebooks. You will need to take a picture of your observation of soils sheet. You're gonna to need to take a picture of the observation sheet and send that to your teachers. 
So that is what is going to be due after you get done with this investigation. All right, I can't wait to start the next one with you on Monday.